Okay, so today we're gonna to be changing the coolant on the uh, Massey 240. Uh, right now, uh, it definitely, it's hard to tell a little bit from here probably, but um, it doesn't look the best. So we're gonna flush it out and see what it looks like. And then we're replacing it um, with pre-mixed. Uh, the nice thing with that is you don't have to worry about mixing distilled water. Uh, you don't wanna mix regular water. So do the pre-diluted 50-50. I think is a better bet. Um, other than the coolant, um, something to catch it in, which we'll probably try and catch a little bit of it at least in something clear so you guys can see what it looks like. And really, so I can see what it looks like. And then uh, we'll get it filled back up. So that's what we're working on today. Okay, so this here is the little drain plug. It seems like that's clogged up. Okay, so I just went ahead and kind of unclogged that using one of these here just kind of went in poked it a bit and then it started flowing so we're gonna let that drain out okay so i shut it off i filled it back up with water uh, we're gonna start it up let it run for a minute and move some of the water through the system then we'll drain it again, and then we'll fill it up with coolant. Yeah, so there's the coolant that came out of it at first. We'll uh, see what comes out of it this time, and then decide if we want to do one more flush or if we're ready to fill it back up. Okay, so we let that run for a little bit. Now we're going to open this back up. And... So that's where we're at on the second time. So this is one flush so again this is a comparison i'll probably get a uh, screen capture and set it next to the one from before so you can see the difference a little better so this one was clogged up also uh, so i just very gently kind of got tapping into the stuff that was kind of clogged in there and then it finally broke loose so i do think that the coolant had had some issues in there because again it was definitely gelled up around the side of the block there and then also in the main drain so uh, i think it's good that we got them both cleaned out again don't forget about this drain plug on this side of the engine over here all right so this one is the latest one um looks pretty good so we will uh use this as our final drain uh, it's still draining now, as you probably can hear, and there you can see. Um, once that finishes draining, we'll fill it back up. Okay, so this is what we're adding back in. This is what it should look like. Um, this, again, is pre-diluted, which is why you're not seeing that bright neon green color. Okay, so I filled it up to about an inch or half an inch below the top of the neckline here, and then I ran it for a little bit, and uh, it's down a little bit lower than that, so we're going to add a little bit more. And then we should be good to go. Um, so that's changing the coolant on a Massey 240. Big takeaways. Don't forget about the engine block uh, drain plug that's right over here. And also your main uh, drain, which is, uh, if you can see, all, uh, right down over in this corner here. So uh, when you refill it, just make sure you don't overfill it. Um, you're just gonna fill it again, a half inch below the top of the neck right there. Thanks so much. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below.